This one's here to thank you, New South Wales Transport V Log 676. XO5 white rail testing on line L, L1 line. So, this is the Ramwick tram being tested out on the Star City Casino tram tracks. Now, yeah, there's a car back for him, not somebody shooting at me. Now, what's this bit? This is when they come down out of Central and something goes wrong and you what all of a sudden they all put their heads underneath the tram i'll just wait and get their bloody heads cut off but anyway like i was saying before in the live stream there tonight um why can't they just go and get the tape measure out and go and see the height and the and all the rest of it, just measure it up but then the other funny thing was, too, when you listen to the Transport Minister under Liberal, his favourite word was, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It, it reminded me of one of those reversing trucks. In other words, you go, eh, 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 eh. Because he obviously he's a politician. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And that's why they had these railway safety guys, like doing this bit of footage here. But the thing that's got me very curious... Where did they transfer this Ramwick tram onto the uh, Star City L1 line? How did they transfer it over? Did they get a crane and lift it? Because sure as hell, I don't remember seeing anywhere where the two train tracks run on the same line. They might cross over each other at right angles, but they don't actually run into each other like a normal country train line. So I'd be interested to know, how did they get that tram onto that tram track? I know they're engineers, I know they've got their ways. I just It's a trivial little thing. With this thing, you go from uh, Circular Key up George Street, heading south, goes over the... East, west, hear it? Hear it? Get stuck, I mean, bottomed out, you see. This is why they should have standardised all the trams, see? And they should be like all the old-fashioned trams that were all standardised, and all the trams could all run on all the same train tracks. But like I said in the live stream, you've got three different types. They've got the original one on this track, which is now full of cracks from Spain. Then they've got the one at Newcastle, which tops up power from the from the uh, parking station. And when it stops, the, the uh, pantograph goes up. And then you've got this thing here, which now is from the circular key to Ramwick. It's different again. See, the government forgot their lesson already. The New South Wales governments back in the 1960s said we're going to standardise everything, which means make everything exactly the same so everything can run on the same goddamn train tracks. Here they are. Now they've got three different types of trams on three different tracks and one whole, was it 12 out of the 14, have all got holes in them, cracks and fractures. Oh, God, they're stupid. Politicians should always let railway people design and choose the trams and let the Australians build the trams, let the Australians build the trains, create jobs in this country. Stop giving their bloody money away to Spain. This is what you get, Gladys, and all the other liberals that brought in these trams. Yes, Barry Farrell and the previous Liberal leaders have bought out all these. Oh, we've got to have a tram in Sydney. We're going to buy it from Spain. Yeah, real bright. Because Australia can't make trams. What are they saying? Australians are stupid. Yeah, we're stupid, all right. We're stupid enough to go and let our politicians go and buy this crap. Now, who's paying the price? All the poor people. All the poor people that want to go to work by tram can't go to work anymore. They bought some foreign defect import. 
But if it was made here in Australia, we could go and take it back down to the yard slot we used to have at Everly, just down the road, and go and fix it. But no, wouldn't the New South Wales Transport Minister say in the Liberal government, oh, we've got to bring the engineers out here from Spain and we're going to let them fix it because they're from Spain and they know how to fix it. Well, that's a like saying, oh, this guy sitting right there and all these other railway engineers, oh, they're too stupid. They don't know nothing. Oh, what an insult to your own fellow countrymen. Uh, what a shoot the bastards. That's what I did. Let's shoot them. Whoever bought these stuff out here, shoot them. Just take them out, put them up against the wall. Good on you, Adolf Hitler. Just take them out there and shoot them. Build our own bloody trams. Build our own trains. Good on you, train drivers. Keep going on strike. Keep going. Make them build our own Australian trains in Australia. We're a continent. We don't need the rest of the world to dictate to us what we buy. We could, we're not stupid. We built the Harbour Bridge. We built the Opera House. We built highways. We built everything else. We showed the world the things that we do. We invent things before the rest of the world. And then they turn around and say, oh, yeah, but you can't even build a tram or a train. What a bloody insult to the Australian integrity. What an insult to Australian mentality. Yours, you should all be cranky. Don't be cranky at me. Be cranky at the government. All they've done now is just make us look like a bunch of incompetent idiots. Talk about government incompetent, government incompetency. Yeah, now I'll show you something that will make you laugh. Australian made trams going out Parramatta Road down next to Sydney University. Who said we can't make trams? But the government said, no, we don't need to make trams anymore. Let's rip them all out. Look at that. That's a tram going down Parramatta Road. Oh, look. Tram at Broadway. And they said, we can't make our own trams. We made the Holden. And what happened to that? Got taken over by GMH in America. And now they canned it. Now we don't have Holdens anymore. We don't have trams anymore. We don't have Fords anymore from America. We don't have nothing anymore. Listen, somebody go and pull out the plug. Let all the salt water come in. Let's just drown Australia. Because that's, that's where I feel like we're going. Down the hill. See, here we come. We're coming going down the hill. That's us. Down the hill. We don't do anything for ourselves anymore. Can't help yourself. You shouldn't be breathing, right? You can't help yourself. You shouldn't be here. Look at that. Trams everywhere. You want to see some more? I'll show you some more. Watch this. Right, you know where the Leichhardt tram is there at the moment? The one that goes around there from the fish market? Have a guess where this is. This is down the rocks. <laughs> Don't believe me? See the brick wall up the back? Up there where the tram is? That's going around through the rocks. Look well, the guy there, look. Happy Australian, mate. Look at him smile and look, waving at the camera. Look at the tram. Look. Where she goes. Go, baby. How about this one? Look at the tram coming around the little tight corner. You don't see guys lying on the road there with that one. Anybody recognise who that is? Come on. Yeah, Lilyfield Road. Yeah, Lilyfield Road. Right there, right now, out there where the trams go. That's White Bay down the bottom of the hill. 
That's right, that's white bait. Oh, look at this one. Look at the train coming down there earlier. Look, around all the houses. That's Annandale. Don't you recognise it? It's Annandale. There we go. Anybody recognise that one? That's the bottom end of Annandale. When you come around the corner there, where the light rail goes now. That's it. Around the bottom end of Annandale, around the back of Balmain. See, look. That's down the back end of Annandale, down the back end of Glebe Point. That's where that is. Ran past the old tram sheds. Yep. Oh, anybody recognise that one? This makes me sick. I used to say I'm proud to be Australian. We reckon that? There you go, look. Annandale in the background. Look, Glebe. Sorry, Glebe. Look, Glebe up top of the hill. Mm. Oh, no, Australia. We need a bullet in the head. Can't let our politics run our railways. We all need a bullet in the head. Oh, there you go. Balmain. Oh, sorry, Rose Hill. There's Rose Hill. There you go. Around the bottom end of White Bay. Look, there you go. So from Mr. Hominoid, get our city back on the tracks. Bring back a railway commissioner. Use your brain. Get a railway commissioner. Runs trams and trains. See? It says the crossroads. I still like to know how do they put the circular key to Randwick tra tram on to the uh, Star City Casino tram tracks. How'd they do it? Just out of curiosity, don't really care. I'd like to know. 